Hi, I'm Karthik. I'm a traveler and I've been actively traveling for over 15 years now. Travel is a means for me to connect with the world that I've not seen and disconnect from the world I come from. I am Kachu Travels. Chennai. What are the emotions people associate Chennai with? Kapi? Traffic? Or local trains? Buses? Temples? Religion? Chennai Super Kings? But beyond the hustle and bustle of Chennai, about 50 kilometers away, lies a small sleepy village called Kovalong, which is a newly developed destination for surfing and home to the annual Surfing, Yoga and Music Festival. When the day started, it looked ominous for rains. We had an early start to day one from our ride that started from Chennai and went all the way to Kovalong. We hoped that the rain would clear soon. The other request to nature was to have an overcast climate as spending the whole day on Chennai's humid coastline could be quite tiring under the sun. We reached the beach and found a place to put our tent and got busy with life even as the organizers were getting things started. We spent our time with frisbee, sand and the sea. These were a few of our favorite things amidst the lovely windy weather and a tent by the sea. Did you say tent? Wait, where did that come from? We decided to equip ourselves for our three-day holiday by the beach. And how? We decided to shop at the nearby Decathlon at Padur. We had some fun by the sea, playing frisbee while keeping an eye out on the weather. We were splashing around in the sea and while we were at sea, our camp was mobbed by a bunch of cows which decided to walk past. We had a jeep for neighbours over the next couple of days where people just sat in and enjoyed the sea views. Meanwhile, on the other side of the stage where the main area was, people had slowly started to gather at the beach. While the weather was largely cloudy, the waves behaved itself and gently tugged at the beach. The beach was drying itself up from the little sun that showed up in the late morning and there was a competition for surfing between all of the surfers who had come from different parts of the world. Meet Maxim, a surfer from Madagascar who had come all the way to India as part of a four-month trip and decided to show up for the Kovalong Surf Point Festival. Uh, hello, Salama. Salama. Uh, firstly, my name is Manam Putcha Maxim. The, in the beginning, surfing, it's, it, the thing was unknowing in my place. And uh, we just look at that guy who came into water and was interesting to try that. And we try surfing and, you know, we develop surfing between through that action just for, the, just for liking the wave. And uh, it's a good thing because it's a bring a development like a community which I have from because uh, because of surfing I can travel here in India and uh, I can meet new people and learn a new culture. It's just foreign it was foreign sports uh, and uh, those foreigners they come and they teach us and they give us they give us material for surfing for beginning and developing our, yeah, improving every every time. I tell you, like if you have a problem, so how you want to solve your problem, like uh, how to how to make a piece on your mind. For me, it's just going to the water, take my board, and I can find peace inside of me. I, I'm really feel comfortable in the water. Such a, such a bit.
Hi guys, I'm Kauti. I'm here at uh, Gugong Point at the Surf Yoga Music Festival. It's on all weekend, tomorrow and day after. So if you're close by, I recommend you come and try it out. It's really like yoga bars. That was really cool.